Hello. British nationalism needs to get organised and ready. Ready for when our people have finally had enough. And I believe that day is rapidly approaching. The coronavirus isn't the first and won't be the last evil to enter our beloved Great Britain. We now see crumbling around us. Trust me, there are more horrors on the way from the third world and not just in the form of viruses. People may say, well, Joe, British nationalism's down and out for the count. What hope is there? Well, there is this, and I'll put it to you. I've just been watching some old 1970s National Front marches on YouTube. Great days, great. Forest of Union, Jacks, thousands of people. Brilliant. But then what saddened me was the demise of the National Front in 1980. But then I thought, well, hold it a minute. When we all thought it was all over and finished and there was no hope, British nationalism was resurrected in the early 2000s under the leadership of Nick Griffin. Sadly, the BMP went the same way the National Front did. But British nationalism can be resurrected again. And I'll tell you why. The public hasn't forgotten us. It knows who we are and what we stand for. But at the moment, there's just the pantomime and circus, the comedy sketch, confrontation and violence. And it's not going to embrace that, right? But once British nationalism gets back up there on its feet, rolls its sleeves up, with a new revolutionised 2020 programme and not one for the 1930s. The public will flock to us again in droves. Even the ethnic minorities will, especially those who've recently left the third world. Those with skills, those with money. They will vote for us, they will join us. And I'll tell you why. Because they don't want the rest following them. Why do you think they've left the third world? Well, exactly. And they don't want it coming with them. Right? They want civilization and order, decency, and they find it here. So with the right new revolutionized program, we can win these people over. Trust me, we can. Right? We have to. Our country is crumbling around us. Only British nationalism can save it. But we've got to get organized and ready first. Okay, thank you. Oh, stay safe. Cheers.